Our next ingredient that we're gonna talk about today is brown sugar. I keep brown sugar sometimes in a separate box or a container that has a tight fitting lid. In this case, I wrapped it in plastic wrap to keep the brown sugar moist. Brown sugar is basically granulated sugar that we've measured earlier with molasses added to it, okay? <clears throat> and what the molasses does is it makes the brown sugar very much like wet sand, so it holds its shape, okay? So with that being said, if you do not wrap brown sugar up tight when you're done with it, it will dry out. There are many, many ways you can find online on how to re rejuvenate brown sugar and bring it back to um, its state of softness. But primarily, you want to avoid any issues from the, from the onset, okay? The main way to measure out brown sugar, if it was in the bag, and let's say we needed one-fourth measuring cup here, as indicated on the handle, I would come into the bag, scoop it around a little bit, and then use the bag against my hand, with the back of my hand, pushing against the cup to try and level off the brown sugar as best as I can, all right? Again, you're dealing with wet sand, so the exactness of this might not be true to form in terms of being 100% level across um, because of the molasses that's in the sugar, all right? That's one way to measure it. And then when you take it out, as I said before, it's like magic. You have your little sand castle. I'm gonna throw that back in the air. That's one way to measure it. If that was in a bucket, if it was in a container that was with the tight fitting lid, and you had your brown sugar in that container, you might not be able to use the side of it, the container, to measure the brown sugar. In that sense, you could use a spoon. And what you would do is you would take your brown sugar and spoon it into the cup that you need, the size that you need, and then while spooning it into the cup, once you get close to where you need, you would take the back of the spoon, gently press in, because brown sugar, when you measure it, needs to be packed. You need to pack it in to get a true one-fourth cup measure like we're using right here, all right? And yes, you're gonna have some excess fallout, and that's why we work on sanitized clean surfaces, and I have my nice clean grandmother's um, tablecloth here, so I can add that brown sugar back into the bag because it is a very clean surface here. So you'll see, once again, it's packed in with the back of the spoon. Shake it out a little bit. You get your sandcastle effect. So those are two ways to measure brown sugar. Um, alternately, if you needed more, um, larger amounts, obviously you'd be using different size measuring cups for that. But again, you wanna keep it nice and airtight. So when I'm done with this today, I'll wrap it back up either in an airtight container or I'll wrap it in plastic wrap. This will not suffice. What will happen here if I leave this on the counter like this in my cupboard or in my storage area with all my ingredients is it will dry out and become as hot as a rock where you could actually break a window with it. So you have to be uh, pretty cautious with brown sugar. So again, brown sugar contains molasses, all right? They sell light brown sugar, they sell dark brown sugar. Um, primarily most recipes call for light. The recipe will tell you if it's dark brown sugar. The darkness would just be, you know, another shade of brown. Um, almost the color of the brown on the inside of the bag. And that is brown sugar.